So, what I'm planning to do today is add this mouse guard to the hive. I use quarter inch mesh most of the time because quarter inch mesh is the only thing that I know that will keep shrews out of the hive. Uh, I've heard that mouse guards like this, which are three eighths of an inch, um, do not work for keeping shrews out. But some people are telling me that they do, they're fine. So I'm going to give it a go. But before I do, let's just take a look. I ordered these on Amazon. I got a pack of five, and this is how well they fit. Look at that, too big. I tried it on that hive too, and it still doesn't fit. So I took a saw, I can't remember what kind of saw it is, but I've got a saw in my garage, and I cut the ends off. I made it fit. So let's see what happens. Um, it's a bit windy today, so we're probably going to get some wind in the microphone because this is Newfoundland. And uh, let's just see what happens. So, first, I'll take off the tacks. I think I'm going to need more tacks, but I don't know where they are right now, so I'll just hope for the best here. Hopefully, I don't rub any bees the wrong way while I'm doing this. And I don't have uh, what I need to film this properly, or to film this well, so we're just going to have to wing it. So this is going to go on here, like this. Whoops, There's a few dead bees right there, might as well. Hold on, while I'm, while I'm at it, let's clear out a few dead bees. This hive and this hive over here too. Um, they were tilted, but then the ground shifted and now they're not tilted, so I'm, I'm concerned that some... I'm concerned that uh, uh, any excess moisture inside the hive isn't gonna run down the front of the hive if it's not tilted. And I hope that's not the case though, but anyway. So, this has gotta go here, and if this thing had been built properly. These little things go here, I think. That's how it works. Oh, look at that. It's even even that's not going to work. But anyway, this, this here bit, I didn't film that, but anyway, this here little bit is supposed to go on the edge, and then another one goes on the edge, and then you slide, you're able to slide the, uh, well, I got it upside down, but you're able to slide the uh, reducer up and down, or just out when you need to, but this thing must be built for maybe a UK hive or some other type of hive. Or it's just badly manufactured in China, which is probably what happened. Um, yeah, look at that. I don't know if I'm going to do it now. Because oh, look, there's a... It's not even... Like, I need to be have that... I need that flat with the, to the ground. To the, to the hive. To the bottom board. And it's not. The bottom board must have a bit of a bow in it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not doing it. That's no good. See, this is a that was a waste of money. It's funny how often I I've purchased uh, things for my hives that are sold, commonly sold, in beekeeping supply stores and online and everywhere else. And they how often they don't they don't fit my hives for w one reason or another. Um, the last thing that didn't fit was a. I had a plastic um, uh, pollen trap that didn't fit, and uh, that was a pain. I had to duct tape it on, and it just didn't didn't work. I recently purchased a, a wooden uh, pollen trap that better fit, better be the same dimensions as my as my hives. Okay, well that's it. False alarm. I thought I was going to nice record a nice video of a. That showed something typical. Let me just see here. Hold on a second. See, and these are the little things they don't show you, tell you about in the books, right? That, uh, you know, maybe your uh, your bottom board might be might have a bow in the middle. Now, maybe that's not a problem, right? But I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. I, it's. It's. You know. I don't know. I'm not doing it. It's probably not a big deal. 
but I'm not doing it. Let's just see if this one works. Okay, that one's flat. All right, we'll try it out on this one instead. Oh, the bees over here are flying out. They, they were disturbed enough to say, hey, what's going on? And the hives, the bees in this hive that I'm poking at right now, I think they're a little bit more defensive than the other ones, so this could be a real short video. Because I'm not farting around with the mean bees. There we go. And these aren't normal tacks. These are, um, I don't know what they are. They're just heavy duty tacks, industrial strength. They're the, the regular tacks that you would use in office supply stores would just they would break. I thought these were stainless steel uh, tacks when I bought them, but they're not. They get rusty, but they're still they're they're much more robust than regular tacks. Anyway, enough about tacks. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I don't have all the proper f camera gear to do this right today. Okay, that looks that looks like something. Why don't I just? Uh, you know what, screw it, let's just put it on. I'll take this little bit of a, I'll take this little bit of a mesh and I'll just use it to fill in that gap. And then I'll just jam this up against the side of the, the edge of the bottom board on this side. Oop, come on, freak ya. And I'm not going to use nails or anything funky and fancy or expensive. I'm just going to use these, these tacks. Here we go. That's it. Watch this. One more in. There we go. And when I do put my tacks in, I don't drive them when I use anything, uh, these tacks or anything. I don't drive them in f uh, flat, straight to the surface. I always put them in a slight angle so that a little bit of them is poking out on the, on the edge. Whoops. So it's easy to remove them afterwards. There we go. All right. Cool. And this is the bee that came out of that hive. At least they're alive. And there we go. Anyway, these things are supposed to, I think they're supposed to hold it in on the side, but the, uh, this thing is too long. Let me just see, is this good? Yeah, it's good, good enough. Yeah, so it keeps mice out. But the bees can still go through these, uh, like watch this guy. See, that's quarter inch mesh. And I thought he would go in, hold on, or she would go in, hold on. And there's a good example of the tack that I was talking about. It's not full flush into the uh, thing. Hold on. Come on, buddy. He'll figure it out. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Let's see, if a bee had pollen on its uh, back legs, it wouldn't be able to get through that without probably the pollen falling off. I, I've seen them, they get through it, but sometimes the pollen comes off. And when they're uh, cleaning out drones and other dead bees, but especially drones, they have a hard time getting through that, uh, that mesh, that quarter inch mesh. And this is three eighth inch openings that make it easier for them. They're supposedly they can just get through that and it's not a big squeeze or anything like that. And mice can't get through, but it doesn't look like, I mean, it it got to be one hell of a skinny uh, shrew, maybe a pig, pygmy shrew to fit through that. That's a small hole. But you know what? It, it's, it's probably possible. I, I've seen little tiny baby shrews that are just like, you know, unfed early winter shrews that are tiny. And they just squeeze through anything. But they can definitely squeeze through like a half inch. And this is almost a half inch. This is... Uh, three-eighths of an inch. It's just a fraction off of a half inch, but they get, they definitely get through half inch. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Um, I, I got that on and uh, I'm kind of rolling the dice. I, I'm, I'm assuming that there really aren't, uh, shrews aren't going to be a problem for these hives. And I just want to test it out. I want to see if the three-eighth inch uh, reducers or mouse guards actually keep the, the shrews out too. If I get a shrew in this, if I see any signs of shrew, I know it kind of didn't work. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I like the quarter inch mesh works really well. It's six millimeter mesh for people uh, who do metric. And uh, 
it works well, but again, it has a little bit of, you gotta clear it, clear the dead bees once in a while. And, uh, but um, let's see, we'll just see. I'm, will I'm willing to roll the dice for, for science. Let's, let's see if these, uh, if these do the job just as well as the quarter inch mesh. Now it's just one high right now. I have a couple other highs that I could use this on too, but um, uh, maybe I'll do it later. But what a pain that I had to uh, get a saw and, and cut this cut this down to size to make it fit because look, it just doesn't it fits doesn't doesn't fit. It's too wide, too long. So I don't know. And there's, there's, there's always little things like that they don't tell you about in the, in the beekeeping books or when you buy something from a, a beekeeping supply uh, place. There's, there's, there's little pain in the neck little things that can make a big difference. Anyway, I hope uh, my boring videos are at least uh, helpful in that way. That, you know, hey, guess what? Here's something you didn't see. No one ever told you about. But uh, and it's possible I'm doing something wrong, but I don't see how I'm, I'm doing something wrong. This, these things fit on the bottom entrance of the hive. And that's all they do. And this one definitely didn't. But, but anyway, I made it happen.